untested design of the MIC plant. That was the main cause for the disaster. So the unproven design provided for the Bhopal plant <coughs> was the first reason. But there was no accident in 79-80 when they start of the Bhopal plant. Because the clue, the operating clue was well trained, the higher officials were well trained. They were taking very serious, uh, seriously about uh, any situation in the plant. They were well aware about each and equipment, each equipment and uh, lines connected to the uh, various equipment. And very seriously they were working. So day by day, there was a deterioration in the quality of the operating personnel, maintenance staff, <coughs> and also the, the reduction in the numbers. So finally, there was 70 percent untrained operators, and number was also reduced. So this is the second factor for the disaster. Third. If you go through the safety equipment, here they have provided vent gas scrubber, referees, 30 ton refrigeration system, flare tower. So the scrubber can only neutralize the normal leakage from the uh, normal leaks released from the various equipment. It's very low capacity and very control. Uh, and very control rate you can utilize MIC in vent gas scrubber. The flare tower is not designed for the neutralize or to burn out the MIC. It was designed to burn out the excess carbon monoxide released from the carbon monoxide, monoxide plant. Third thing, to keep the storage tank material at low temperature because it will at low temperature if there is some contamination it will give more induction period for the runaway reaction. That system was permanently closed down in May 84. <coughs> so the refrigeration was permanently closed down. The flare tower on that night was under maintenance. The scrubber was not operating. In case of emergency, if they want to start the scrubber, that will take near about 10 hours to start the scrubber. When there was a contamination in 610 tank of the water and other impurity, those impurity were highly catalytic impurity and the reaction started that was highly exothermic and the total reaction was complete completed within two and a half hours because of the catalytic material contamination along with the water. <coughs> so it was not possible to control or detoxify such a huge amount near about 32 tons of material was stored on that night in 610 tank. So other thing, if your design is okay your safety system is working, everything is okay, even that there is chances of the uh, accident, like earthquake or by any means there is chances of accident. So there is no evocation plan for the community people in case of emergency. <coughs> There is no evocation uh, plan for the community people. Even there was uh, no any system on that, on that night to warn the community people. To warn the community people, there was a loud siren provided for the Bhopal plant. In that also they modified just few months before into the muted one. So on that night, the loud siren was started and after five minutes, they closed down the loud siren and they started the muted siren that can be heard on the PA system, public announcement system, on the loudest speaker. That can be heard inside the premises. 
to the people who are working in other plant. <coughs> so these are the factor and when the gas leaked, so there was no proper information to the hospital, to the police, to the concern authority. What type of leak took place from their plant, what are the antidote, how to treat them, there is no information provided by the They have provided uh, the information uh, that MIC is like a tear gas. On that night, I was my uh, my home at my home along with my family, and uh, all of a sudden there was irritation to my elder son and eyes, and he was weeping. So I and along with my wife, I wake up and we saw what happened. So we were just uh, weeping and uh, <coughs> tearing from the eyes and after a few minutes we were also tearing from eyes when I came out my house on the street the people were running. So I also come back to house and along with my fa family I also run and <coughs> went to my friend's house and that is in New Bhopal. So in the morning police was announcing near about 6 o'clock that there was a leak from the Union Carbide plant. Now everything is under control. You can go back to your home. So on the Monday morning I have to report on duty in the general shift. So I came to plant my, my factory bus. Here we were told that there was a leak from the storage tank and the temporary we close down this plant when we will require you people will call you. You may go back to home. When I was going back, so there's people coming to the factory and they were dying on the street. When we went to the community, there we saw a lot of people on the road, in the street, they were dying like anything, so vomiting, animals, human beings. <coughs> then I went to the hospital along with my friends. There we saw a horrible situation. I have seen more than thousand people, they have taken last breath in front of my eyes. <coughs> So, after that, I, I do not have a sufficient information at that time, the preliminary information was with me, but I was aware the how the MIC is dangerous to the health. <coughs> so in the hospital we saw the doctors are treating the affected people on the basis of symptoms, because they don't have antidote. So irritation in eyes, just giving eye drop or vomiting antacids and this and that. So this thing was going on. And even after 26 years, still the affected people are getting the symptomatic treatment. 